So throughout doing YouTube, I've seen a lot of people use SSDs and they want to know why their SSDs burn out pretty quickly or why they stop working. Well, the reason being is why is an SSD has a certain number of limit to where you can read and write to it. Okay. Now, whatever that limit is, I don't know. It depends on the model and all this other stuff, but an SSD will go and say that an SSD, like we'll make our own SSD here. Okay. We have a 500 gigabyte SSD and it can only be written on a thousand times. Okay, well, every time we install a program, it has to read and write. Every time we use a program, it reads and writes. Every time you, if you were recording video to an SSD, that reads and writes too. If you're editing video from an SSD, that reads and writes. If you're using a program that you put on the SSD, that's reading and writing too. So, in general, you're going to fill up the SSD and actually kill the SSD way quicker if you put a bunch of stuff on the SSD. So, you actually want your SSD to be barely even filled up at all. Also, it's been proven if your SSD. SSD's capacity is more than 50 to 75 percent filled up more or so likely 50 percent filled up it has almost the exact same performance as a one terabyte hard drive normal standard HDD it almost has the exact same load time and performance as a standard HDD if the capacity is filled so much up on your SSD but if you put so many you know if you put so many files on it and stuff that you access every single day the reason being that it dies so quickly is because you've exceeded its maximum number of read and writes and this was one of the biggest things I've seen out of friends that I've known in the years of doing YouTube they want to know why their SSDs die way quicker as opposed to they've had a hard drive that's around for like six years that hasn't died well why does my SSD die well you're putting way too much stuff on it first of all and second of all you should only be putting stuff on that you use recently now here's the thing let's say I play PUBG like every day but every once in a while I play something like Battlefield 1 like one or two weeks you know you know once a week or twice a week well I would install PUBG onto the SSD and then if I have enough 50 to 75 percent capacity left I would install Battlefield 1 as well kind of like how my SSD is right now if there is a game that I don't use at all there's no point installing it on the SSD and this is where people are like I'm gonna build a computer and only put an SSD in the build that's not good to do because of the reason being that you know now if you only use an SSD in your build then once you hit that maximum read and write speed on that SSD you're kind of screwed to be honest so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully this helped out some people when buying SSDs because I know a ton of people who are misinformed and don't actually go out and do the research about SSDs and they just think oh I can buy this up and fill it up as a regular hard disk drive that's not how it works guys that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time